Hi, my name is Areli Velasco and I'll be going over how to take phosphor plate x-rays. I'll be going over some of the armamentarium that we need to take those radiographs, starting with the plate transfer box. And aside from that, we'll need the phosphor plates that will go into the phosphor plate sleeves. And from there, they will go into the box to be protected from light transmission since they are light sensitive to avoid any errors in the x-rays. From there, we need the pipe blocks, or also known as the foam holders, to take whatever x-ray we need, whether it's an anterior PA or a posterior PA. All right, moving on to our x-ray machine here. We want to make sure we have it in the right settings. Starting with our tube head, we want to make sure it's barriered, also our remote. From there, our setting needs to be set to a traditional setting, not the digital. In order to determine that, we have to look at the RVG light. The light will be on if it's on digital, or it will be off if it's on traditional, just like how we want it here in traditional. From there, make sure you have it in the right setting, whether it's a PA or a bite wing. We want to make sure it's set to the appropriate location and we're taking it as well. Okay, now we'll be taking the x-rays on our patient Dexter today. With clean bare hands, we're going to grab the 2x2 two two film from the edges. We're going to need the phosphor plate sleeve. We're going to open right there that little pocket we have and place the film there. We want to make sure that the letters and the number are facing us so we could have it in the right side upon exposure. We're going to go ahead and seal the sleeve really well as well to prevent any contact of the film with the patient's saliva or mucous membranes. Also, like this, we're going to be able to read that it says opposite side towards tube, and that'll help us upon the placement of the bite block here. So we want to make sure that the black side is facing outwards, just like so, and we want to place it nice and tidy right in the center, and make sure that the A is on that lower left side since we're taking a PA here. And now we're ready to take the x-ray. Moving on to taking the x-ray on our patient Dexter here, I'll be grabbing the built-in bite block that we already built and I'll be placing it in the designated area that we need the radiograph on. For here, we'll be doing a posterior PA on the upper right hand quadrant and we want to make sure since we're doing posterior teeth, if the patient has a third molar, we get that third molar all the way in the back and make sure that we get the apex as well. Okay, now we're moving the film from the pipe block so we can quickly transfer it into our plate transfer box so we do not get any light into the image to get an error, just like that. And now we're ready to process the image that we just took. Upon turning on the phosphor plate scanner, we're gonna go ahead and access scheduler, daily appointments, head to our patient's chart, and from here, we're going to go ahead and head to the x-ray section right here, the little lion. And from the lion, it's going to open up the tab for the x-rays. From here, we're going to go ahead and hit Twain for our next option. And then from here, I'll take us to the settings for the scanner. So then we'll be ready to process our film. The four lights will be turned on green, just as so, once the machine is ready for the develop development of the images. We want to sanitize our hands, make sure we have clean hands, and then open the box. When we grab the 
film, we want to make sure that the letters are facing us and that the A is at the bottom. And then that's when we process it, insert it into the little slot, push it down gently until it starts moving down on its own. Once it's developing, we'll see that the number turn into an orangey number and it'll start developing the film as we see here. There we go. For this next section, to adjust the image that we have, we're going to go ahead and use the mirror adjuster here and then rotate it as we need to based on the type of radiograph that we took. And then we're going to save it. Upon saving all the images we need, we're going to go ahead and go to use a format, select third party JPG FMS. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and line up the x-rays that we took with the format right next to each other. So we could click and drag it to the box that it needs to be placed at. And then from there, you're going to file, save, and then click OK to get your final results saved to the patient's chart.